Greetings! At some point in your career, you will need to build a team. And in this video, I will brutally honestly describe what you must know about people in order to build a team. Now, without any undue delay, let's define what a team really is. A team is a group of people who have complementary skills. Building a team includes the process and the people, but in this video, I will talk about four specific types of people you must identify to build a team successfully. The first group of people we call family. These people are unconditionally yours. They support you. They wear a t-shirt with your name and no matter what happens, they are always on your side. Make sure that you identify who your family in your team is and take good care of them. Be connected at all times because if your commitment in time and energy is away from the family all the time, eventually you'll come to a roadblock. And once you lose that foundation, it's all over. The second group of people are called the mercenaries. Mercenaries are yours for as long as you pay them. Here's some examples of mercenaries. And I'm telling it like it is. If you are an anesthesiologist, the surgeons are typical mercenaries for you. They are in your support team as long as it works for them. As an example, as long as you don't cancel or delay cases, they are yours. But even if you have an immaculate record of no delays, when that one time things don't go as planned, you've lost them until you pay them again. You have to identify mercenaries and make sure you pay them what they need so that they continue to support your effort in building a team. And remember, mercenaries are yours for as long as you pay them. They may not go the second mile for you and loyalty may not be an optional extra. The third group of people is the hostages. These are folks who just don't have options. They just have to do what you tell them to do. And I apologize if I am brutally honest about this, but depending on where you work, the hostages can be your nurses, your interns or assistants. And in managing hostages in your team, keep in mind that just because they don't have options today, it doesn't mean that they might not have an option in the near future. And this is why you need to take good care of them as eventually you may lose them to the competition. Finally, the fourth group of people is the terrorists. This is the smallest, but the most important group for the outcome of your team building efforts. This is because the terrorists in your team may be subversive and they will continuously erode your team building efforts. They will detonate and cause damage no matter what you do, when you expect it the least, perhaps. No one has ever been able to contain terrorists, governments, armies, secret police, or undercover agents. Nothing has really worked. To recognize a terrorist, simply open your eyes and ears. These are folks who have a constant need to be special, different from the rest of the team. They clutch to their own ideas and always have their own angle of view, the difference from your mission. What you must understand about terrorists is that you will never bring them over to your side. Here's a practical example of a terrorist and how to handle them. Imagine you're a pharmaceutical representative in a hospital and you're selling a medication A. Your family in that hospital is already using that medication. Your mercenaries are also using it as you remind them by bringing lunch from time to time and take them out for educational dinners and such. Now, strictly speaking, buying gifts and bribing is no longer allowed as it may introduce bias in the selection of medications, but this happens all the time. As for the hostages, they have to use your medication as your family and the mercenaries are prescribing it. So the only group that doesn't use your medication is a small group of terrorists. A common mistake we all do is that we try to convert a small negligible group of terrorists while failing to support and make the most out of the family and team members who are already productive on your team, the mercenaries and the hostages. And get this, we all tend to spend most of our productive time trying to convert a few terrorists who are neither fun bunch to work with or folks you can really trust. And this is a common 80 to 20% rule where you are spending 80% of your time to convince 20% of the folks. Instead of constantly nudging them to join you in your mission, simply let them go to the competition so that the competition wastes time on them 
and refocus your efforts on building success with your family, mercenaries, and hostages. And that was it, a short course of psychology of team building. And I hope this was useful. And I would love to hear from you how you identify the terrorists in your team and the techniques that you use to remove them. And be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the future videos. Greetings.